so many brokers are changing at the moment across South Africa. There are amazing modules out there. And I'm going to say it. The EXP model is great. The Remax model is great. Pam Golding, great. C, great. Any brand is great when the broker knows what to do. The issue that we have is that most brokers in South Africa are not entrepreneurs. They are not business people. And the demographics in terms of national earnings will show it. There's a big difference between a sales person and a sales leader. And then if you can go and work for a company that pays you 90%, that pays you 100%, it doesn't mean you are going to make exorbitant amounts of money unless you understand business, unless you understand negotiation. I say all of this to remind people that you can go and get a higher split. But if you don't know how to cost a transaction correctly, work out the timeline of the transaction correctly, you are always going to shortchange yourself. And it's going to feel that the industry isn't working for you or the agency you are with is not working for you. The most successful agents that I know are people that works on traditional models. And yes, I get it. There's a generation of agents that will have to almost exodus from the industry for the new breed to come. I realized it. But there are golden nuggets that whether those people are in the industry or not, will never leave the industry. And I want to caution, and I do caution, and I have cautioned agents that's in the trade for a certain amount of time, five years, four years, three years, two years, six years. But when you engage with them, they don't understand business. You cannot come into this business with an employee mindset. Because if you're going to come with an employee mindset, you're still going to look for a paycheck and not for quarterly earnings, monthly earnings. These are small but significant factors that determines whether people can earn 50% on a transaction. But because they understand business, they know how to cost correctly. Versus a person that's money hungry chases a bigger percentage. But because they don't understand business, they always under cost and always ending up with less than what they expected. At Icon, we are not interested, have never been interested, and will not be interested in people that's purely and utterly and ultimately driven by money. You can come into the bread with that mindset as long as you don't stay in it. Because if you're in any business, any business, only for the money, the business will fail. The greatest business on the planet was never driven by the love of money or the love for making money. It was about someone that wanted to solve industry or societal problems. And in order to become a solver, you have to become a knower of what you do. You have to have a complete understanding of what you do. And eventually, as your understanding develops into wisdom, develops into an art, develops into a skill, automatically, your income will increase. This is a fundamental flaw in so many brokers when I speak to them. They are driven only by money. And this is what I have to say. That emergency that you have right now, it's going to pass. The question is, are you going to be satisfied with the agency that you've joined that, quote unquote, got you to earn the money to cover the emergency? 
Because now that the emergency is gone, you still have to remain. And I find agents like that always hop from agency to agency. So the next time that you consider leaving a brand because of a percentage or joining another brand because of a bigger split, ask yourself some questions. How competent are you as a real estate professional? How competent are you as a business person? How competent are you at the planning, execution, and costing of a property transaction from listing to registration to handover? Do you not maybe think it's time to consider upstilling yourself before looking to upgrade a percentage? Because you can upgrade a percentage all you want, but if you don't have the skill set, well, you might end up with nothing. I leave you with that thought, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. And share with us what other content you would like us to talk about. And I would love to hear back from you because we are looking for ideas on what we can talk about on this show to bring change, sustainable change different way of thinking about the industry in South Africa. My name is Gary Phelps. Until next time, bye for now.